Speaker, the Prime Minister has had a revelation. In an interview with the Halifax Chronicle Herald, he told how he responded to people asking for him to spend even more government money. And he said, and I quote, as soon as you do that, inflation goes up by exactly the same amount. Oh, right? Oh. Right. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? My goodness, spending money you don't have actually causes inflation. Sure. In the middle of having epiphanies, has he also realized that budgets don't balance themselves? Yeah. The right honorable prime minister. Mr. Speaker. The Conservative Party has been using that approach uh, uh, about concerns on inflation to stand against things like national uh, food programs for kids or dental care for seniors. They have stood and objected against and even campaigned against dental care for seniors over the past many months. But we've delivered to over 100,000 seniors of the 2 million who've already registered for dental care the support that they hadn't gotten in years or even decades. But he stands against it with some uh, you know, made-up excuse around inflation when delivering <laughs> services delivers for Canadians. Made-up excuse around inflation? The opposition. He calls his own words a made-up excuse, Mr. Speaker. You can't make this stuff up. He said that when people ask him, can you send us more benefits or send us an extra $1,000 a month? Well, he re responds, as soon as you do that, inflation goes up by exactly the same amount. Oh, boy. Right? Oh, right. The right honorable prime minister. Speaker, that is exactly why over the past years we've been focused on bringing down inflation by supporting Canadians and it is worth <laughs> for the past four months, Mr. Speaker, inflation has been down in the Bank of Canada target range while we continue to increase supports for Canadians, increase dental care for Canadians with Conservatives that campaigned against, supports for senior supports for young people, increased investments in child care, bringing child care fees down to $10 a day. These are the investments we're making that do not add to inflation, but add to Canadians' well-beings as they're making ends meet. That's what we stand for, Mr. Speaker. What the hell do you stand for? He didn't make any sense. The Honorable Leader of the Opposition. He finally, for once, thought about monetary policy. <laughs> he said, as soon as you spend more, inflation goes up by exactly the same amount. Right. And he is right for once. But repeating the same costly promises that he has already broken does not change that fundamental monetary rule. So will the Prime Minister acknowledge that yes, the economy is about numbers, that people pay their rent in numbers, their gas in numbers, their groceries in numbers, and that the numbers are too high? Yeah.